This video presents some of the results obtained with our artist-friendly hair shading system. Shaders are often evaluated based on a static pose and with default lighting. However, a critical component of the success of a shader in a production environment is how well it holds up under animation and under different lighting conditions. This first test shot shows that the overall appearance throughout the shot is consistent and changes appropriately as the dancer moves relative to the light. Another critical component required to get a new technology adopted is to show that it is at least as good as what came before it. To show this, we used the character Penny from the animated feature film Bolt. Using the standards from that time, Penny's appearance, especially her hair, went through a considerable amount of tuning. Using our latest shader, we were able to approximate that material with little effort. While this is not a pixel-per-pixel -pixel match, it does replicate the art direction and the overall appearance. Next, we'll look at a sequence of shots with a character, Flynn, to show that the overall appearance holds up under a variety of lighting conditions. We asked the lighters about any challenges they might have faced while working on these shots. For the most part, the hair model responded as expected to the lights being used for the surrounding environment. The first shot here was very easy to light and required no additional tweaks. The hair is picking up the low lighting in the room exactly as expected. This shot was slightly more complicated. The golden highlights in Flynn's hair required some adjustments to the primary highlight in order to meet the art direction. In addition, some of the multiple scattering components were turned down to create sharper contrast between the hair color and the highlights. However, all these adjustments were easy to make. As Flynn emerges from shadow into light, the specular components lighten appropriately, yet the overall color remains dark for a dim interior. Our shader setup allowed the artist to break out separate components for multiple scattering and single scattering. These could then be adjusted in the comp for very specific effects. In this case, the halo effect caused by a strong rim light and carefully adjusted transmission enabled Flynn to pop out from the shadow. The strong sunlit highlight and faint blue halo in this shot turned out to be all about light placement, with very little need for tweaking. With the lights at the right angle, the hair model reacted as expected. In this outdoor shot, the single scattering components are very bright and golden due to the strong directional light illuminating the entire shot. No additional adjustments were needed to produce this effect on the hair. Both Flynn and the horse are using our hair model. In the shot, they are falling in the shadow of a cliff so they're lacking the strong direct sunlight. Despite the differences in hair colors and length, everything feels as though it's in the same world and the same light. Thank you for watching this video, and thank you to everyone who helped us.